Hello viewers, welcome to Mesology. In this video, I'll give you some idea about apiculture. Apiculture is also known as beekeeping. The earliest evidence of hive beekeeping comes from the old Egyptian kingdom. In Hindu mythology, it is believed that Parvati in the form of Brahmari Devi was summoned by the gods to kill the demon Arunasura. This Arunasura had taken over the heavens and the three worlds. So, to kill Arunasura, she stung him numerous times with the help of innumerable black bees emerging from her body. Thus, the gods were finally able to take control of the celestial world again. The origin and development of modern beekeeping lies between 1500 and 1851 when attempts were made to domesticate bees. Commercial beekeeping started from the second half of the 19th century. Johann Zerjon is considered to be the father of modern apiology. The rearing of honeybees to obtain honey and other commercially important products is known as apiculture. The place where these bees are kept and maintained are called an apiary. An apiarist rears the bees in order to collect the products of commercial importance. The most common Indian variety of bee is Apis indica. Others include Apis dorsata, which is called the rock bee. It even includes the dwarf bee which is the Apis floria. Then we have the European or the Italian bee, which is called the Apis mellifera. Apis mellifera has also been cultivated in India. Beyond these four that has already been named, there are few more species which has been cultivated in India on commercial basis. They include the Tetragonula iridipennis, which is a stingless bee, or the large Himalayan species, which is Apis laboriosa. There are around 40 to 50,000 bees in a colony or in a hive. It comprises of one queen, some drones, and mostly all workers. The sterile females are known as worker bees. They make up approximately 85 to 90 percent of the hive's population. They do all the work to keep the hive functioning. The females are responsible for the construction, maintenance and the proliferation of the nest. Some of them act as nurses who take care of the brood. Some others as janitors who clean the hive while even the ones, those who are left behind, they act as foragers who gather nectar and make honey. Worker bees are born into an occupation and their duties continuously shift in response to the changing conditions in the hive. A bee's job is determined by its sex. Drones or the male bees, they make up 10% of the colony's population. 
they spend their whole life eating honey and waiting for an opportunity to mate with the queen when a queen makes a nuptial flight all the drones compete to mate with her in mid air after successful mating they fall to the ground in a victorious death the queen mates with up to 20 drones and then she stores the spermatozoa in her spermathica which is close to her ovary after copulation the drones they just die and that is where the duty of the males end the bee's sex is determined by the queen who lays egg at the rate of 1500 per day for 2 to 5 years she has the unique ability to designate which eggs will develop into drones or the female workers if the queen approaches a smaller worker bee cell to lay a female egg she will fertilize the egg on its way out by releasing spermatozoa from her nuptial flight she has enough spermatozoa stored in her abdomen to last the duration of her lifetime if the queen chooses a larger drone cell to lay a male egg she will not release any spermatozoa as the egg leaves her ovaries this unfertilized eggs will develop into drones the csd gene that is the complementary sex determiner gene this is identified as the primary gene involved in the sexual regulation of honey bees honey bee heterozygous at the csd locus develop into females while the haploid hemizygous bees develop as male drones the worker bees are females but they do not breed the queen bee is reproducing female and creates all the babies for the hive the drones are males and they do not possess any sting bees communicate with each other about food sources using dances that is also true before the nuptial flight of the queen bee they have different life spans depending on their work the queen bee can live up to 3 to 4 years a worker bee lives up to 6 weeks during summers a drone will die shortly after mating but can live for several months if it has not done so now let us look into the economic importance of apiculture or the commercial side of this apiculture on an average a hive produces about 55 pounds which is equivalent to approximately 25 kgs of surplus honey each year beekeepers harvest it by collecting the honeycomb frames and scraping off the wax cap that the bees make to seal off the honey in each cell once the caps are removed the frames are placed on an extractor that is generally a centrifuge machine that 
spins the frames forcing the honey out of the comb fortunately the honey bees make more honey than the colony needs so it is necessary for the beekeepers to harvest the excess which they bottle honey bees not only produce honey they also produce bee wax and these are used in the manufacture of candles polishes cosmetics and several other products so let us recapitulate the products of commercial importance once again the first is honey which is rich in carbohydrates containing sugar dextrose and levulose which is used not only as food but also for medical purposes the second is bee wax which is used in the manufacture of candles cosmetics polishes etc pollens and royal jelly are also obtained in the process thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you once again